In this section of this course, we are going to learn few of the concepts in ORDS like how to create the template in ORDS that is with a simple query. Also, we will look at how we can pass the query parameter, header parameter, path parameter and also we will have a look at how we can return the various kind of response and the types. All this we are going to learn with the help of SQL developer. First and the foremost thing, you have to make a connection to your SQL developer. Suppose if you are using the SQL developer web, that also fine. So we are going to make use of these tools in order to demonstrate those use cases. So for this use case, what I'm doing is I have already created this employee table and this is the data what I'm having currently in my database for this table. And also I have already exposed this table as a REST service. That is, you have to just click on enable REST service. All those things we had already seen in our earlier classes. We have already created a module as part of this table. I'm trying to create one more template wherein I will just retrieve the data whatever I have in this database that is with the simple query. So in order to do that, what I will do is I will right click on the module. I will tell add a template here. I will simply tell V1 and just click on next and click on finish. So if you see our V1 template got added over here. Now next is we have to define the handler like how we do with the help of PLSQL script. Now here I will select the get and I will tell my source type is collection query. Click on apply. Now here what I will do is I will provide the simple query which I have over here. We'll click on test. So I could see few data available in my database. Click on save. So our job is done. So what is the URI parameter for this ORDS API is v1. So for the module in the ORDS it will have a URI prefix. So this is the URI prefix in my case. So let me head over to the postman and test this API. I have opened the postman tool. So here is the URL what it looks like. It is slash ORDS then it will be your schema name. All those things we have already seen in our earlier class. So in order to once again highlight schema name is the schema where your table is residing or where your rest data services are residing. So this is the schema you have to provide. So ORDS will be followed by the schema name then the module name and then the template name. In our case module name as I had shown it is employee TBL and the template name which I had created is V1. Click on send. Suppose if your ORDS API is secure then you have to provide this client credential that is by getting the token from this URL. All those things we had seen in our earlier classes. Now in the response if you see whatever data we have in the table we have retrieved that is currently I'm having 20 records. Here if you see I'm having 20 records in the response. So one of the advantage of using this SQL query over here directly in the template handler is it comes with the inbuilt pagination fields in the response like has what limit count so and so forth thing. Suppose if you want to supply the limit and offset in the request those are the reserved words. In our next classes we will see how to add the header parameters or the query parameters but just make a note of this that limit and offset you cannot provide because limit and offset are inbuilt or reserved keywords by ORDS API that is in the product itself. Now here what if I want to show only the five records in one call that is instead of 20 records I'm getting all the records over here if you see the count is 20 over here and 20 records I'm having currently in my table. So instead of this what I will tell is I want only five records to be sure. Then I will give limit is equal to 5 over here as a query parameter. Here if you see, I will be getting only 5 count of records. That is a 5 records at a time. But has more will be true. So if you want to retrieve next 5 records, then what we can do is all those things are the concepts of pagination. You might be knowing already. So this time I have to tell my offset should be 5. And after 5 records, I have to fetch next 5 records like this. Click on send. Now if I click on send, I am getting next set of 5 records. And here... The limit is 5 but the offset is 5 instead of 0. Suppose I have got details of 10 employees as of now then my offset will be 10 because in first call I got 5 records and in next call I got another 5 records. Now the offset should be 10 because I should get next set of 5 records. Click on send. Here if you see I am getting next set of 5 records. Now at the end offset should be 15 because I should get next set of 5 records. Here if you observe has more is true. So until you have has more as two, you have to keep on paginating. So this will be useful while designing the user interface where you have pagination like with the click on button or load more on scroll. Click on send. This time when we just click on send, we got has more or false because we have retrieved all 20 records because starting with offset 15, I will be getting next five records that is 16 to 20. 
so with this we will be retrieving all the data whatever is there in the table and showing on the api response so i'm seeing has more as false because we don't have any more records suppose if you give here 20 and i don't have records in the database table after the offset 20 because max 20 records are there i will get in the response items is empty over here so like this we can build a simple ORDS API with the help of a simple SQL query with the help of SQL developer. Now suppose if you tell that I don't have access to the SQL developer, how I will migrate the code and you will have a lot of questions on storing the code for this ORDS API if you are using the graphical user interface of SQL developer. So nothing to worry, just right click over here, click on rush definition and click on save to file. Just click on apply. You will get a PLSQL kind of script with the help of which we usually create the ORDS API. First is we have to enable the schema. That is nothing but we have to right click over here and just click on enable schema. It is that. Then we have to create a module. I have already created a module with the name employee TBL and I have given this base path. So all those things we can do with the help of PLSQL script as well. Then I have defined a template. Template I have created in this class only. That is V1 I have given the name. Then I have provided the simple SQL query. This SQL query will be shown over here and it is based on JSON collection. So like this, we can create a ORDS API with the help of SQL developer and also how we can get the PLSQL script for the same so that you can save in the Git repository.